in just a moment, we're going to be taking a look at possibly what's one of the best raw lights that you can buy for the price that it's selling at. Make sure you stick around. Guys, welcome back to Green Farms Garden and another video. My name's Alex, and if you love gardening videos, horticulture, ornamental plants, DIY, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single thing. So we have here the Mars Hydro TS 1000. It'll set you back about 120 euros. What are we getting for that price? Well, let's take a look at it. So the TS 1000 is a full spectrum LED grow light, meaning it can be used for all the different stages of growth in your plant's life cycle from vegetative right to flowering and that's pretty ideal because it eliminates the need for having different bulbs to cover the light spectrum. Within this little unit, you've got everything that you need. So just as a disclaimer, I've been sent this light for free from Mars Hydro to take a look at it, to show it to you guys if you might be interested and for me to share my honest opinion if I think it's any good and if it's worth the value for money, what it's selling for. So there'll be a link in the description so you know where you can get it from if you're interested. So let's take a look at the rundown and some of the features of this grow light and then the tent and we'll talk about some of the pros and the cons. So as we said, it's a full spectrum LED that very closely mimics natural sunlight. As you can see, it's very clean white light. There's no blur pull and it's only on 50% here. But if we just turn the dial up to full power, you can see it gets pretty intense and you don't want to be looking at them LEDs without a pair of sunglasses on. If you're sensitive to light, be careful. I'm going to just get a little peek. Look at that. It's pretty intense. Oof. I just got myself. So the TS1000 comes equipped with the latest SMD Epistar LED technology. Basically, it's three times brighter than older LED models and Mars boasts up to 30% higher yield from your plants that you're producing. And after looking around on the internet and doing a bit of research, looking on some of the forums where growers and enthusiasts are using this model to grow their, their plants, it seems like these growers confirm this uh, number that they seem to be very happy with the yields that they're getting from their plants. It's also quite an energy efficient light. It has a draw power of 150 watts. That powers 342 little LED grow lights that as a result, it's pretty cool. It ain't hot at all. There's no need for noisy cooling fans to cool down the heat and it's silent. You can't hear nothing at all. And before I was running this light on full intensity for quite a few hours, and as you can see in this little test, the average temperature it's giving off is very small. On average, it's under 30 degrees, testing the different areas of the light. You also have got this easy access dimmer switch, which has got a range from 10% to 100%. So you can easily turn it right down if you're getting some seedlings right underneath and trying to just slowly bring them on. You also have this nice little feature here to connect more lights together via a daisy chain. And you can set up one to be the master controller by turning the dimming function off on the others and have one be the master controller for the others. It's a really nice little feature. So we see that's some pretty packed out features for a budget end grow light. Let's talk about some of the pros and cons. So for the pros, it's a nice budget priced grow light, full spectrum. You've got the latest LED technology also. You've got the easy access dimmer and the daisy chain option and it's energy efficient. For the cons, we can see that the reflector could be a little bit bigger so it could reflect more light into the canopy and you've not got any protection of the LEDs. There's no 
perspex or, or glass protecting these LEDs from getting damaged. So you have to be careful when you're lifting plants out that your little stick doesn't smash in there and break one of the lights. But they're very little drawbacks when you're talking about the price and what you're getting. So what do I think about the grow light? I think it is a really nice budget end grow light with some real nice top notch features. I've been growing some plants under this now for a couple of weeks nearly and I've seen some lovely growth coming on my dragon fruit. Look at the growth on them and on my little chili seeds that had just sprouted like two, two days ago and you can see the mangoes are coming on really nice here. I think anybody who was looking for a grow light to maybe grow some vegetables out of season, some tomatoes or chilies, or bring on seedlings to get your vegetables like a head start before the season starts, then this light will probably be ideal and fit your needs perfectly. So let's have a quick look at the grow tent. You can see that it's really fine quality from the stitching to the zip. The zip is real smooth action and it's something that's really been made to last. You can see the thickness there on this tent. And if we take a look inside, you can see there's plenty of vent areas where you could attach an extractor fan if you're fancied and places where you can get your plug sockets through and tighten them up with them little pulleys. Also, the frame was really easy to build. You see, you've got these pop out little nipple clips that help to like connect your frame together. And it took about 15 minutes just following the instructions in the manual to stick this together and get it ready. Really nice. It's something that's really been made to last and it's topped off with this gorgeous Mars Hydro rubber label. I, I just love the label. It looks really designer and just finishes it off. It's the little cherry on the top of this grow tent. So um, beautiful, really well made grow tent. So in the next few months, I'm going to be using this grow light to bring on these chili seedlings, you see, and give my mangoes a nice head start before I put them in pots outside. And my dragon fruits as well. They're doing really well at the minute. We'll see how they look in a few months time. I think as well, it'd be a real fun test to try and grow some tomatoes out of season, maybe some cherry tomatoes and see how they do. We can talk about that in the video in the future when we've got something more to show and I've got some more experience dealing with this grow light. So guys, thanks for watching. If that video is out already and you're watching in the future, then make sure you hit that video uh, box there, the icon and watch that video next. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss when it does come out. It's been fun guys and I'll see you next time.